Hello everyone. I send out well wishes to you all. I recently wrote a blog post called Lessons Learned During Lockdown and it focused on self-care practices that have been really good for me for maintaining my health, physical, emotional and mental during this uniquely challenging time and I would like to expand on that and for the next while share some videos and posts regarding self-care and I would like to start today with a guided relaxation and mindfulness exercise. I do have other videos on self-care at my website, tracyreneestafford.com, so you can always go there for more resources and to learn about my one-on-one -on -one online teaching. Now, taking good care of ourselves is one of the best things that we can do, not just for us, but for those around us. So we have positive energy to give. And positive energy is like gold these days, really. <laughs> it ripples out, I think much farther than we realize. So I really encourage everyone to treat their own self-care practice as a real act of generosity to everyone, yourself included. The effects of stress on our physical, mental, and emotional health are very well documented. So we know that we need to take care, but creating good habits to help manage stress takes practice. It's not so easy. Life is constantly presenting us with new challenges now is a very good example of that. And it's easy to become caught up in our own particular situation, especially if we are experiencing something truly difficult. So creating good habits to manage stress is not a luxury. It's really needed in order to feel strong and capable of working with what life is bringing us. There are many things that we can do to manage stress, including having a good diet, exercising regularly, getting good rest, having some good strong relationships in our lives and I'm going to talk about all of that in future posts and of course mindfulness practice is now quite popular which is so wonderful because it too has been proven to reduce the effects of stress on the body and the mind. So here in this practice I will lead you through a guided relaxation and body scan which involves putting the attention on the breath and the body. Now this doesn't mean that thinking necessarily stops during the practice, but our attention is not on the thinking. It's on the breath and the body. So when the attention does go to thinking, which it will, that's where the attention is used to being, it's our habit. When it does go there, we simply recognize that that's what's happened and we gently guide the attention back to the breath and the body. And we do that as many times as we need, very kindly, to help train the attention to rest in the present moment instead of focusing on thoughts of the past or the future. We're creating a new healthier habit every time we bring our attention back to here because when our body and our mind are in the same place at the same time, we are stronger and better able to respond to what's happening in our world. This practice is very simple and uncomplicated. Sometimes it's confusing how uncomplicated it is and yet it has been proven to help calm the nervous system down-regulate the stress hormones and stabilize our moods, all of which are so needed and so powerful. So let's experience it, okay? So begin by sitting in a posture that is upright, but also relaxed. If you're sitting on the floor, sit on one or two pillows so that your knees are below your hips, or sit on a chair with your feet flat on the floor. And roll the shoulders up, back and down and let the hands rest heavy on the thighs. Your eyes can be open or closed. And we'll begin by taking a few slow deep breaths. So inhale and in the mind count for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, Filling the lungs and the belly and exhaling for five, relaxing and feeling your weight. And again, inhaling for five, slowly, deeply and exhaling for five, slowly, deeply. And last one.
And now let the breathing be natural on the slow side if you can. And keep the attention on the breath. And then guide the attention and the breath to the head. And relax the head with the intention that the breath is massaging it. So relax the forehead and the eyes and behind the eyes into the brain. Let the breath massage the brain so it can easily relax its grip on thoughts. And the head can be felt from the inside out. Relax the jaw and the whole mouth, teeth, tongue, and even down to the root of the tongue in the throat, perhaps swallowing to help relax the throat. Bring the attention to the back of the skull, relaxing here. And know that thoughts do not need to go away. Instead, just imagining a clenched fist opening, releasing its grip on thoughts. Our attention is on the breath and the body here in the present moment. And now guide the attention and the breath to the back of the neck and shoulders. And let the breath massage the muscles of the neck and the shoulders from the inside out, encouraging them to let go of some tension. Feel the weight of the shoulder blades. And let the breath massage the space between the shoulder blades and the back of the ribs. Feel the whole back of the body with the sense of energy going down, all the way down the back to the tailbone. And letting the energy sink into the floor or the chair and pass that into the earth. Feel the breath in the sides of the torso, in the waist and the ribs and all the way up to the armpits. Feel the breath at the front of the chest, relaxing the sternum. Relax the collarbones, letting them move naturally with the breath. And feel the weight of the arms and the hands. And let the breath massage the muscles of the arms so they can let go of the bones. And feel the weight of the hands resting on the legs. Relax the diaphragm in the lower rib cage, letting it rise and fall with the breath so the heart and the lungs can get a massage. And now guide the attention to the abdomen and the pelvic bowl. Let the abdomen move naturally with the breath. Inhaling the abdomen expands slightly, exhaling it relaxes, very natural. Relax the hips and widen the base of the pelvis and let all of the abdominal contents be massaged by the movement of breathing. And now bring the attention to the legs and the feet and feel their weight and their density. 
and let the breath massage the muscles of the legs and the feet so they can let go of their hold on the bones. And so the whole body is relaxed and we can feel our weight and feel our breath and we can feel our aliveness as energy filling up the whole body. And let's just relax in the present moment. The attention rests on the breath and the body and our aliveness. All very relaxed. And when the attention goes to thoughts, it's no problem. We gently let go of the thought like we're opening our hand and guide the attention back to the feeling of the breath and the body and our aliveness. Relaxed. And just note the feeling in the body right now. Remember the sensation. And we will bring this sensation of relaxed aliveness with us as we close this exercise and move into the next part of our day. So take a few slow, deeper breaths. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and open their eyes if they're closed. So I hope that was helpful. It's very simple. We can practice scanning the whole body whenever we need to relax and just get present. Or we can do tiny on the spot practices throughout the day, just feeling the weight of the pelvis as we're sitting or bringing our attention to the feeling of the feet on the floor or the hands resting on the legs or just feeling the breath. Keep it simple, practice often, okay? So take care, be well, stay safe, and stay tuned for more tips on how to stay healthy in body and mind no matter the circumstances.